Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day, the night is coming when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things he spat on the ground and made clay with the saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated, sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who previously had seen that he was blind said, Is not this who sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. He said, I am he. Therefore they said to him, How were your eyes opened? He answered and said, A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam in Washington so I went and washed and I received sight. Then they said, Where is he? He said, I do not know. John 9 semicolon 1 12. Good and most glorious day to you, Lord our God. This is a new day, new, that you have created for us, for me. I praise you for it and for your precious will and life you have given me. May your will be done in it I pray. We so desperately need you and your plans and purposes to be fulfilled in us, in me. Let it be to me as your will. I come and ask your blessing on the reading of your words here and this story that rings out to me this morning. In the strong name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I know that we are all born sinners with our fallen natures. And I can understand that many people feel that as sinners we can be cursed for our sins. The disciples were thinking that this was a curse because of sin. But even as a newborn baby, with a fallen nature they have had no chance to sin yet. And why would you curse a baby before they even sinned? You would not, even being all-knowing you would not, I believe. But they wanted to know who sinned and you were quick to answer them. The man's blindness was not payment for sins. But for the glory of God, the Father that his mercy and healing could be seen in and through this man. And it sounds like the man did not even call out for healing, but you, Jesus, just moved to work a miracle for him. And you did a beautiful thing for one who never saw light or people or colors. It must have been so amazing. Lord, it says he was a beggar. That he earned his livelihood that way as he could not do anything else. Lord. This whole story reminds me of the salvation story in physical form. He was physically blind, but we are born spiritually blind. Till he met you he could not see, as mankind, till we see you and have a born again experience we too do not see the truth. We are spiritually dead in our sins. We too live in darkness and continue in it till, we hopefully come to you. This is how we are all the time till we come to let you have lordship of our lives and then we walk in the light as you are in the light and we see all things new. Then all things are beautiful and we feel and know your wonderful love and grace over and in us. Saving grace is so amazing. We all should come to you as we are, humble, contrite, understanding our spiritual state and be healed. Not so much physically but spiritually. And Lord. I know you could have healed him without the clay. But even that had to have had significance. I know that we are but dust, or dirt and to dust or dirt we return in our physical bodies. And a long time ago I heard a sermon on this scripture but I do not remember, why the clay, Lord? And you spit in the dirt and made the clay that you placed on his eyes. Something from you, or out of you and then what we are made of was mixed together and then he was told to go and wash at the pool of Siloam, which he did. He, in order to see the healing had to do something himself. He had to follow your instructions, he had to obey you. And he did. And he was healed, made whole and could not do what other men could do. His place as a beggar was no longer an option for him. 
he now had new life and new purpose for his life as we can have when we come to know you. It also takes obedience to what we know to do. Then we too have purpose and new life and we are made whole in you. Lord, the other thing that reminds me of our salvation is that others witnessed the transformation of this man. Some said different things about him. Some said, isn't he who is blind? Like some say about your children whose lives are transformed, isn't he, or she the one who used to be like this or that? Didn't they do these things before, but now they are different. When we are born again we become a new creation and our lives are no longer the same as we see with new eyes, a new perspective and we want better for our lives and the lives of others. You give us a heart transplant, or if we are truly saved we should have a new heart transplant and live better and truer than we ever did before, and people should see our new life in you by our living different than we did before. Then we are living testimonies of you and the transforming power of your spirit in us. When they asked him, how were your eyes opened? He told them, Jesus. Just like your children need to tell others who you are and what you have done for us. This is what I see in this story, Lord. I see the story of salvation by, and through you in no other way. Praise you our gracious Lord, and King forever. Lord. Thank you for blessing me with remembrance of what you have done for me. Thank you that yes, I too once was blind but now I see you and know you are my savior, my healer and my all in all. You are everything to your family. You are. My Lord Jesus, I thank you for blessing me with the eyes to see you, and the ears to hear you with. Thank you so. I close this prayer with a full heart and deep gratitude for all you have done for me are doing, and for the blessings to come in and through you. In your holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bow my heart to worship and praise you, Amen.